Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in. We're gonna go fight uh, Omega Shenron with LR Dr. Wheelow. We're gonna get another uh, LR Dr. Wheelow World Tour video in her, right here. We're probably just gonna do Omega and um, uh, Fusion Zamasu. Uh, slightly different team in that we replaced Golden Frieza for LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but of course I mean he's like a must run in this fight. Uh, now, Dr. Wheelo, I think we were able to to do it a little easier against Fusion Zamasu. This, to me, I think could be really tough. Yeah, the loading today has just been abysmal. Oh, my God. Uh, Dr. Wheelo in slot 7, I'd say that's actually pretty good for us. Um, and we got uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku right away. We could get a fast full power Super Saiyan 4. could be good. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Hopefully Tech Omega is aiming these attacks at the start. Uh, that is perfect, yeah, nice. Um, Dr. Wheelow, for his intro, does not need Piccolo Jr. on the same rotation. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Hmm. I do spy with my little eye one concern. Um, is Omega dead? I th Please super right away. Super, super, super. Please super. Uh, super, super. That's good. That's good. That's, whew. That's very good. Uh, because if Omega did not do that... And then my LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku double supered. And then Piccolo Jr. did, you know, four. Uh, you know, Omega was probably dead. So that would have been no good. Uh, absolutely really bad for us. Um, I should get Bulma on the opposite rotation as LR Dr. Wheelow. Not really too sure how I want to play this. A lot of times with showcase characters, like, I like to keep them on rotation. For, like, you know, pretty much the, the, the as much of the run as I can. Um, but Dr. Wheelow, I mean, he is, I mean, you know, he is a little bit more of the, um, you know, Mimi side of things here for a video we're doing. So, I mean, if it's smart to float him off at some point, we obviously uh, will be doing that. Um, we'll see how things are going to go then. Please calm down, Piccolo. No, dude. No, stop it. Okay, don't you dare crit or do nonsense, please. Thank you. Oh, great. Yeah, thanks, man. Well, we lost. Thank you, Piccolo. We lost. Great. Yeah, we lost. Sorry, guys. Looks like uh, we're not even going to get to see good old Wheelow in this run at all. <laughs> yeah, I... Uh... Uh-oh. Ah, that sucked. Um. This is a lot of pressure we're under here now. Alright. Give me the most we can get. Is that. And, uh. uh okay. Alrighty. Hopefully Omega. Okay, there's the super. Sure, I guess. That's... Okay, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. That's a really, really clutch dodge by Carnival Goku. I, I think we might have been dead if he didn't dodge that. We just got here way too fast. I mean, you do not want to be on SGR Omega turn 2. Right? <laughs> With, like, nearly any team. That's not as no good. Um, they got, If they only give us one super, we're in trouble still. Wow, really? Okay. Haha. <laughs> Okay. Well, I think we lost. They gave us a bunch of normals. Yeah, well. That's, I, I mean, that's Piccolo Jr.'s fault. Like, I, I have said numerous millions of times, a lot of times I do not really like bringing Piccolo Jr. in this fight so much because of what he did, which is where he just eradicates Tech Omega. He gave us, like best RNG in terms of doing damage, but, like, it was really bad. Like, it it put us in a terrible spot. And then we had, of course, the shitty rotation, 
of two, the leader and friend leader in the same rotation is bad. All right, the loading for JP today has been worse than ever. Let me just come back, like, right when we're loading in. All right, here we go. Um, there is probably an alternative way of thinking of Dr. Wheelow and Slot 7 might have been a good thing. I'll explain more right after. All right, so we have LR Dr. Wheelow here. Now, the point I was going to make about potentially him being in slot 7 might have been a really good thing for us um, is because Dr. Wheelow, his intro, gives him 4 key and plus 80,000 defense. Remember that Dr. Wheelow, unfortunately, um, is a, uh, like, a um, just a flat numbers character right uh so that is only for four turns the four key and eighty thousand defense uh if there's another revenge character on the team right and that's kind of the thing i, I do feel like i really do want to run piccolo jr um so that, of course we can you know get dr wheelow's intro up um okay now check this out uh dr wheelow's 18 key right we can get uh actually i could just click I, what i'll do talking about this we can just click this right so, uh, his 18 key is 30% attack and defense, med colossal damage, and a, a seal. His 12 key, though, is 30% defense, which is the only thing that really matters. Colossal damage, but then he also lowers attack, which is valuable for, uh, Omega here. So, let's do that. Yeah, we, we could just, let, let, we're gonna intentionally go for the 12 key to get, uh, the attack debuff, and then 8th anniversary LR, so we could do this. Um, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, th this is a much better, oh, that kind of sucks. Just because this will keep Goku from getting his uh, stack in. That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, I don't know how Dr. Wheelow is going to tank. I mean, in terms of links, we have what? Legendary power up on this turn, and that's it. But, I mean, his link set is terrible, right? Like, we're not... I mean, we can get Thirst for Conquest of... Oh, nice. The double super is really good. Because that's double 30% defense and double attack debuff. So that's really helpful right there. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Um, Dude, what's... Now the court... Bro... Today has been a wild and wacky day. All right. Um, they could do whatever. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. This is not like a situation where it's like, oh, my God, you guys got to do crazy for us. We'll be okay. Um, all right. Let's, uh, let's just see where things will take us now. I would prefer, again, that Piccolo Jr. does not, like, go super nutty. That would be, like, super good, but we'll see. Uh, I, I cannot believe Piccolo Jr. just turn one, just kill. All right. Uh, oh, we can turn the intros off now. We got Dr. Wheelos in there. <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. Ah, uh, that sucks. He split his attacks up. <laughs> okay. Four in each slot. That's funny. Very funny. Okay. Uh, so we could hit that right there. Perfect. That way, um, well, I guess Goku does have a super attack now. All right. Uh, just whatever, man. Whatever. Whatever. This is going to be tough now. Cause now that Super Saiyan 4 Goku, like, I mean, he's not going to get one shotted by STR Omega. Um, people always get mad when I don't go for his 18 key super, but Obviously, it's because I do not want to kill Omega right here. That's why I'm not going for his 18 key super. Uh, this is a situation, though, where... Uh, he, remember, he gets... Um, what is that? 30% defense for four turns when he does his 18 key. But, I mean, my priority is just to get into Oob anyway. And I don't want to do damage here as much as possible. I'll give Bulma her orbs, but that's it. Uh, Piccolo's probably going to kill here, dude. Damn it. 
Uh, we're gonna have another, like, the GT duo. It's our first turn again here. Uh, our HP is too high to get the revive. Piccolo, just fail. Okay. Oh, that's really good. And, of course, this cocksucker just keeps going. Yeah, just keep going, dude. Don't, don't, don't worry about us being successful here. You just keep doing that. Yep, gonna be another loss off of Piccolo Jr. being a dickhead here. Thank you, Piccolo Jr. Bro, like, is there... Maybe, I mean... I, like, I, I don't want to run him. I, I just do not want to run him on the team. Like, is there... There's gotta be another revenge character uh, that we could throw. I mean, we could do LR Golden Freeze, I guess. It's a battle of fate, so, like, we could do... I mean, we could bring Orange Piccolo. He's revenge, right? We could just do him. He could be a little scary at the end, potentially, but... Alright, so Carnival Goku has zero stacks. You know, the... the This isn't the worst, actually. Like, this could have gone way worse for us in terms of, like... Uh, attack placement. Yeah, we could hit this right there, bam. And then they have plenty of orbs. It's not really going to be a scary turn for them. The, Omega's not going to kill them with a super. We should be okay here. I guess the worst would be if he supers right away to buff his AoEs. He didn't. Okay, yeah, we're, I think we're fine. We'll see the damage that uh, uh, LR Goat is going to put up here. Oh, nice. Carnival Goku double supering right here. That's very good. Um, that's another 30% defense just in case he has to eat the super from Omega. No super. Okay. Uh, Dr. Wheelow, of course, would be okay from a super. He's got type, he's type advantage. Oh, double digits right there. Oh, but, but keep in mind, that's, he hasn't supered. Remember that o Omega's damage is really nasty after he supers, right? Not before. Oh, another, wow, we're getting a lot of, a lot of additionals. I'm making up for the additional luck in this run. Okay. That's an extra 30%. Wow. That's where the super was. Dodge it. No, we eat it. I mean, that's not, that's not like the worst ever, right? Could be way worse. Could, easily could be way worse. Uh, we're probably going to pop Carnival Goku's heel, right? Yeah. Carnival Goku's heel is going to kick in. These guys are fine. They're not. We don't have to worry about them taking damage or anything like that. Uh, so Carnival Goku's heel will kick in. Piccolo Jr. did get a bunch of super attacks, so he did build up. Yeah, from here, we're probably looking pretty good. Now, at this point, we could do as much damage as possible, and I don't really care. Right, but against Tech Omega, you really want to try and, like, avoid killing him as fast as possible. Uh, remember Super Saiyan 4 Goku? We need, what, two hits in order for him? Oh, nice dodge, Wheelo. That doesn't really matter, but it's still a nice dodge. Uh, we'll leave Bulma on rotation here. Well, damn, that's it's a he gets a lot of defense and links from them. Prepared for battle and GT. Yeah, it's fifteen percent defense from those two links. It's just if Omega super attacks right away, it's so problematic. I don't want to leave both on rotation. That would be a bad idea. Should we just? I, see, here's the thing, too. I, like, I would put Bulma in slot 1, and then put Super Saiyan 4 Goku in slot 2, but that would be bad as well. And then we actually don't have a revive next turn. I, you know, I think we're cooked, actually. I think we're going to lose. Yeah. It's over. It's over. Uh, Yeah, it's, it's, we're done. Because Omega didn't put enough attacks on Super Saiyan 4 Goku at the start. We'll, um... Do that. Do that. Yeah, it's done. We're done. Of course. Of course. It's over. Oh. All right. The, the Fusion Zamasu video wasn't really, like, it was, wasn't so bad. Like, we're good. Uh, we're not really lining things up perfectly in this one, unfortunately. Aye, aye, aye. 
I, I listen. I love Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but um, I, it's just it, it is it is very. It's like it's like sort of Hope Trunks, and it's just very easy to die using him. It's just very easy to just get exploded. I mean, sort of Hope Trunks even dies probably less though, because you're running him a slot two or three. Super Saiyan 4 Goku. The problem with Super Saiyan 4 Goku is you gotta run him a slot one. And, I mean, he can't tank a slot one in base, right? Like, uh, it's... At least when you're on Majunior on the team. When we die, I'm taking Majunior's bitch ass off the team. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Orange Pickle on there and said the 50th chord moment in this video, huh? Not really too sure why it's doing that, because it's not... Again, the little pop-up where it's like, oh, like, you know, you're... Well, actually, Majunior... Save this. Okay. Wheelow could tank normals after Super, right? Yeah, never mind. I think Piccolo Jr. is actually going to clutch this out for us. Never mind. Yeah, I don't like bringing him because of what he does in the first turn, but obviously we love what he's doing uh, here, you know, later on. This is uh, pretty good for us. All right, uh, I'll do the usual. I will come back once Piccolo Jr. is done with his Rampage on Omega, uh, destroying him, and now we don't have to worry about AoEs and Omega's giant super attack and stuff like that once we leave, and then that will get us to our revive, and then I think we probably will win. All right, yeah, this uh, this looks like this could be a win for us for sure. Uh, we'll be able to pepper him with a bunch of active skills right here, um, including uh, we do have Dr. Wheelow's active skill we'll be able to pop as well. So we can just get a nice uh, bit of damage. Uh, Dr. Wheelow, we're going to have Legendary Power and Thirst for Conquest. He's at 258. We're going to get Thirst for Conquest up. He'll super attack first. Uh, I don't know. One normal might be too much for Dr. Wheelow, actually. Let's see. I think in terms of our rotations, we can do exactly this right here. Um, all right. I probably... Uh, man, I, I kind of want to save the in orbs for Piccolo Jr., Yeah, I, I, I'm going to save the in orbs for Piccolo Jr. Dr. Wheelow doing his 12 or his 18 key super attack right here doesn't actually matter. He's not going to get any extra, any additional defense by doing his 18 key. Um, I, I think it's more important that Piccolo Jr. gets these in orbs for a little bit of extra HP regen, which we may need. This, with uh, Dr. Wheelow is not going to take 240,000 or anything like that. Oh, Goku. Oh, my God, Goku. Yeah, okay, so Goku, um, he got hit enough times for his attack buff, right? I, I missed that. If he's at that high, 12 million that was? Okay. All right, so Dr. Wheelo, I mean, we just need him to live a normal. He's a villain, supering first, thirst for conquest up. Damn, that would have been a nice additional uh, right there. We're good. <gasps> uh, I. Okay, we're, yeah, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Piccolo Jr. is not going to... Yeah, we're fine. Uh, we have 616 HP. We're totally good. We're totally good. We're totally good. 
Ay, ay, ay. A little close. A little close. But, like, Piccolo's gonna be taking double digits a couple of times, right? Like... Hmm. I <laughs> there's not enough attacks right here for us to actually take yeah 33 nice okay 100 10 that's beautiful yep 10 okay wow well 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 that was kind of close that was uh that was close Wilo I mean I would have preferred if oh, damn if Wilo had hit the additional super which I mean we got the hidden potential some additional but it was a normal of course and then we didn't get any dodges to trigger but regardless looks like we still um, are going to collect our W, which I love. I love winning. Alright, how do we want to do this here? Um, I think that no matter what, we should be able to die pretty easily. I mean, with the AoEs and shit like that. Yeah, there's no... There is no way around that. We're just gonna die right away. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's just make sure that Bulma can get her support up. Perfect. Alright, so we'll die and drop the Spirit Bomb. I... Maybe I should have did this turn a little bit better here. I mean, I don't... There's not... He AoE'd right away. There's nothing we could have done, right? Um, hopefully, the Spirit Bomb crits, though. If it doesn't, well, we'll see. Yeah, we didn't even finish with a crit, huh? What what are we Oh man, we really might not win. Damn, is there something I could have done differently or better? Like no, like I uh, if he didn't AOE right away, I mean, we could have, we could have had Bulma in slot one. Uh, no guarantee we live here, huh? I just, cause, okay, here's the thing. Um, I, I think Carnival Goku is in position where he'll live a super attack, but... I, I, like, I don't, I mean, we're going to take damage from the AoEs. That we're going to die to the AoE. It's one. So he's only AoEing twice? Yeah, he's only doing two AoEs here. One in slot one, and then one in slot two. Yeah, guys, I don't know. I, I, I think we're, we might barely lose here. It's tough, but... I don't, I, I mean, I don't recall making a mistake or there's something else different we could have done. Omega is just going to outlast us here. We got a crit on the Spirit Bomb. I, we could dodge the super, which would help. We didn't. I don't know. Um, I think we probably die here, unfortunately. Damn. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's just... You know, like, I mean, we could have, like, not loaded, uh, I mean, I, uh, 
he he just like f you know fired away the pressure right away last turn instant aoe to, to kill us where we could do any damage and then this turn he just does that right away not really anything we could have done there um and then we had the aoe coming in yeah i mean the aoe's are tough they're tough they're tough to deal with tough to handle uh, all right. Well, I mean, there was Doctor Wheelow against Omega. I mean, I'm, that kind of annoyed me. I, that should have been a win, but I, I mean, I bought these bosses can just be annoying bastards. Yeah, because it's like it's not like we could have gotten extra damage somewhere or something like that, right? Like, if we had put Piccolo Junior in slot one, we could have gotten some extra stats, but we lose out on a, on a full on super in slot one instead of slot three. We had him in, right? So like, that's not necessarily like. And it sounded like Piccolo Jr. right there would have made a difference, right? Like, uh, yeah, damn. Yeah, I, like, I'm I'm thinking back on the run, and it's just like, we did the Piccolo Jr. turn, giant active skill, Willow active skill. Then we go into the second turn, he AoEs right away, just kills us. And then the next turn, he just super right and kills us. There's back-to-back -back turns, he just insta-killed us. So, yeah, I have a, that's Omega, man. <sighs> You know, these bosses nowadays, I mean, they're, they're, they're bastards. Let me know what you guys thought of Dr. Wheelow. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.